Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of this Terraria series, Elements Awoken. Alright, let's jump back straight into where we were before. Um, seeing as you can hear me, you probably guessed that I just got my microphone. Uh, whoever's watching this, whatever two people are watching this. Um, on the last episode, I was going to put in subtitles, but the editing ended up running way longer than I expected it to. So, I wasn't able to put them in, and uh, another thing, I didn't want to take the time to do that, because, uh, well, thank you. In this episode, I'm hoping to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Um, if I do not get there, then I'm sure that there'll be some other, uh, content, if you can call it that. Um... For anyone who's watching this to listen to, oh my gosh, I'm so great with my awkward pauses. There's gonna be way too many jump cuts in this. So, I think the first thing... Congratulations. Uh, I think the first thing I'm gonna have to do here is probably a little bit of mining, since in the last one all I did was get some iron armor, or lead armor. So, I guess I'm just gonna cut into that, and probably give a few clips of me mining some whatever it is that I find. So I'll be right back. Oh, what is that? Oh, I... No, 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 no. And he does the same thing that the granite elemental does. Why did I not expect that? Ooh, we got to this. So this guy. My inventory full. Yep. Huh. Okay. I'll have to go check at that. Oh! There's another guy over here. Get over here! <laughs> ah. This looks pretty cool. 40%, this has... 59%. Or... Yeah, 59%. Dragon Fury, 8 damage. No. Dragon Shot! Uh. Meh. I think we're gonna go with the Dragonite Blade. Ooh, I can make some of this stuff too. Hmm. Alright, I'll have to check that out. Make this thing. And let's make this thing. Okay. E Electrozatron. That's that's a lovely name right there. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it sticks to enemies. Oh now that's cool. It's like it actually hits the slime. About the sword. Oh, it has a flamethrower effect. Okay, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> Actually, that's We got a new we got a new weapon here. Uh I don't care about that. It does 12 damage. Oh, I'll take that. I have so much crap in my inventory. What are these top hat squirrels? I cannot figure out what these are. Indestructible. They don't drop anything, and that makes me a little upset. I have crystal number two, crystal number three. I feel like this whole series is mostly just going to be me learning how to commentate on a video. Because, uh, obviously I have no clue what I'm doing. I barely know how to play Terraria anymore. Just if I should say I haven't played this game in a very long time. So I should probably not be playing with mods, because I'm going to get everything all mixed up. But, uh, I... Oh. Uh... That's... That's not right. That should not be happening. I should not be getting souls. Uh... Is this from the fair soul drops? Because that's not good. That is not good at all. Um... I, I guess I'm just going to have to trash them, unless there's something I can do early game and there's reason I have these. Yeah. 
It does not look like there's anything early game that I can make with these. That is very... Uh, um... Yeah, I might have to get that. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, these, this is later on stuff. I don't see anything here that looks like it would be early game. Um, so I guess for now we're just gonna have to trash the souls. I mean, the more fair soul drop seems like a pretty great mod. It allows for extra souls to drop since, you know, enemies have... I'm gonna have to look up what chance. But, uh, they only drop one soul at a time if they drop one at all. And that, that just kind of sucks for farming. So, I guess we're just gonna have to trash these. Do -do -do. Not commentating, cause I figure that I'll just cut this out later. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Uh, did I? Oh, okay, now I have some. Alright. I did adjust my microphone, so if the recording audio, or if the audio, wow. If the audio is a little worse, then I'm sorry, but it's just way more comfortable for me to do this. Wait. <laughs> Either could be seen as suspicious. It summons the Eye of Cthulhu, it's the same thing, but I like the name better, so I'm taking this. Okay, and we now have an arms dealer, apparently, which is... Uh, not really what I was hoping for. I didn't realize that I had any- Oh, yeah, guns can shoot shurikens. That would be probably why he was able to move in, considering I don't have any guns. But, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, an arms dealer, decent. He isn't selling anything new, but maybe we have to be the Eye Cthulhu for that. So, I guess, time to fight. Alright, and it's time to take down the eye. Okay, that was quick. Uh, that, is, that is not a lot of damage. That is not a lot of damage that I am doing right there. Put down all these platforms and I'm not using them. That would also be probably another factor. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was a terrible idea. But it's working. So I guess I'm going to be using a fist weapon. Uh, I have a lot of awkward pauses here. Uh, partially because I don't know what to say. And partially because I'm fighting a giant eyeball. And that renders you a little speechless when it's... Uh, happening. I didn't get any healing tokens. I am a genius. I am... I am gonna die. I'm going to die. <laughs> I am dead. Oh, instant respawn! Instant respawn will save me. It's not cheating. It's not cheating. It's, it's uh, strategy. Yeah, strategy. It's also not cheating. It's strategy. It's strategy right here. This is uh not good. This is not good. This is what that is. Not, ow! I'm I'm alive. I'm alive. I did not die there. It's perfectly legitimate. Uh, this is good. This is good right here. Fantastic. This is great. This is. Commentary, not just me repeating myself over and over again. Uh, this is not what I intended to happen, but it is happening. Uh, what the hell? Uh, okay, he's dead. And he dropped the thing. Uh, Jagged Rash Charm. Huh. Reduces cooldown to dashes. With dashes. Huh. Sweet. Uh, I can see the health and mana from uh, bosses is working. With another mana star, that's fantastic. Yay. Ooh. 
That's... We're just gonna keep that there. That's perfect. Perfect, actually. Uh, Shield of Cthulhu. Sweet. And then this reduces the time between dashes. So, where am I? Okay, apparently I'm gonna put it there. Or maybe I'll put this down and get rid of the aglet. Oh, yeah, we got the electrical, too. Nice. 17 crimson. That should make something. Before I go and see what I can make at the anvil, let's see if I want to save up for anything for after we beat the brain of Cthulhu. Uh, I can make all the crimson weapons. I can push it over to Demonite at a Tinkerer's Workshop, which we don't have. Uh, any of these a material. Ooh. Tendon bow is a material. We're gonna make a tendon bow. Wait. Wait, I saw a thing. I saw. Saw a thing. What is that? The tenderizer. Holy crap. Um. This is for sure going to be what we're making. Why did I come down here? The anvil's up here. Okay, the... not... tenderizer. Where? Where do I make... Where do I make powerful equipment? At a workbench? Weird. Are you kidding me? Making another one. Fine. Huh, right click, parry, uh, and you damage counter strike. Restores five life. Combo ground life. Ah. Nice. Huh. Test it out. Okay, so that parries attacks. I think I need five hits to get the. Uh, yep. Let's go find something that can actually take a couple of hits. Okay, so I was unable to find an enemy that could actually take enough hits, and frankly, as of right now, I am just way too lazy to try and do that. So I think, since I've been recording for about an hour now, and I've finally beat the Eye of Cthulhu, I say finally, it's only episode two, yeah, um, that it would be fine just to leave it here. So, uh... I need to come up with an outro right now. Uh... See you later.